All right, here's the, uh, I guess, the trillion dollar question. How long will this take and how much will it cost? I'm going to go through these. These are the sciences I just talked about. And I want to show you how what a ridiculously small amount of money we need, which could be standing between our personal life and our personal death. And one of them is telomerase. And they've already invested tens of millions of dollars. They're looking at about three years and about $60 million dollars to screen all the compounds that they think are screenable. And they may have, like I said, a cure for aging with telomerase. I, I, I think it's a stretch to see if that's going to be a cure for aging, but it's certainly a huge help. The seven to 12 years uh, would be uh, the FDA drug uh, process, but the ability to show this, to show the effectiveness, could happen in about three years. I'm, for the time being, I'm not concerned with the FDA. The FDA is something else we can, it's another issue we can take. We, I'm just saying we, we, we want to get the capability of doing and affecting some of the things that we're talking about, whether it's in this country or anywhere else, as long as we're doing it responsibly and legally. Um, CR memetics, um, sure. This is, who, who is, doing that? This is Sierra Sciences, and they're here today. Um, what is the product that emerges out of that? Is it a treatment, or is it a pill? It would be typically a pill or some sort of, some sort of compound that you would, typically a pill, but you can talk to it. I, I suppose you could have something that's injectable or sprayed, but uh, typically a pill, a drug, and it might even be a supplement. Um, one of them is TA65. Are you, are you familiar with TA65, Oliver? That is one, uh, a compound that Geron developed, and uh, TA Sciences has that uh, marketing, they're marketing that right now, and it's proven, uh, they've got extensive research showing that it does lengthen, shorten telomeres. Um, CR Memetics is, a, it's hard to put a budget on this because so many people are doing it, and some of them are pretty well funded, most aren't, but the one we're looking at is about $5 million. They've also, Resveratrol, uh, we've all read about, could be one, metformin, a drug, uh, so we've already got some of this stuff where the lines are. We've already got this. and we, we need to improve it. We've already got it. Genomics and molecular genetics, um, Michael Rose uh, et al. has the, uh, they're going to be bringing their first products out on the market next year. Amazing stuff uh, to hopefully um, take a genomic approach through natural supplements and drugs, which, which they will be developing. Uh, so I put lines through there. They, they, uh, we couldn't, we couldn't get a budget. I think they're, they're pretty well funded, although I'm sure they could use more money, but not a lot. Uh, immune system restoration. I talked about measuring the immune system and reverting it back to where you were in your 20s. Now, this doesn't include the drug development, but for the first two years, they'll be able to uh, pull this off for about $2 million in two years. They can always already demonstrate it, uh, re just you know, reconstituting your immune system. Regenerative medicine and stem cells. There are lots of people doing stem cell research right now, and it's hard to get an arm around it. I'm putting a number of, of, on, on this that we could raise for things that are targeted for aging research. Uh, tissue and organ storage. Now, this is more complex. Uh, it's about nine years, about $48 million. Is that, is that right, Greg? $48 million, roughly. Okay, that does include FDA trials, okay. Yeah, so imagine being able to have in nine years or a little bit thereafter, being able to back up, take your own cells, have somebody grow organs for you and be able to get them in storage. Amazing. It's like putting new parts in a car. Um, arresting dementia. Neil Bode spoke yesterday, and I talked about this briefly, uh, to stop the progression of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Seven million dollars is standing in his way in three years of having a drug that's ready for FDA approval, but a drug that's proven to be effective. Already, there are no side effects. They've been, been working on this for 12 years. They've got 42 million invested in, from various sources over the years. Seven million dollars standing in the way of stopping the progression of Alzheimer's. We have about four and a half million, and it's a revolving door. About four and a half million people in this country alone are slowly dementing and dying from Alzheimer's, the worst possible case, because I saw my dad go through it. Uh, breaking uh, 
extracellular crosslinks. We talked about that. Uh, we're looking at, at two years uh, for $6 million to be able to come up with the compounds. Eight to 10 years for the FDA approval, probably another 50 million. But again, this is to demonstrate the ability. And if somebody wanted to do it somehow, if they could do it legally and safely, this is the, this is the, the, the budget we're coming up with. Mitochondrial medicine uh, to move the, uh, the uh, genes into the nucleus, 16 years, about $106 million. By the way, this is part of SENS. And I have SENS down here um, for about a billion dollars. So this is part of SENS. Some of these things overlap. The artificial general intelligence now here. This, this, this is a technology that will change the planet. This is a technology that would give us hundreds or thousands or millions of PhDs who never get tired, who never forget, who get smarter and smarter and, and work with humans and other machines. This will accelerate everything that we're talking about so fast, it'll be blinding speed when this is developed could be developed within five years. And we don't need to emulate the brain and figure out exactly how the brain works. We just need to figure out, and they're doing that, how to do what the brain does, how to get the same result, doing it in a completely different, unique way. There's another company in, in, uh, in Maryland that's doing the same thing. But the budget out here in California is $33 million. And what's interesting, over five years, this will change the planet, folks. This will change everything. The $33 million is probably a high figure because that's assuming they will not put any of their profits into their technology or into their research. And their plan is to reinvest the profits. And they already now have a, prof have a revenue stream which will be starting next year. Uh, nanomedicine, the holy grail, 19 or 20 years uh, to demonstrate this, but about 28 years before they can have the nanofactories that are going to be developing the little nanobots of the robots that go into your bloodstream that uh, have, a, have a, a, you know, potential to fix every cell in your body and just basically revert. It, it's just, I mean, we don't need to do that today, but we need to start. Or, and I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, nano or, uh, pristine stem cell reengineering the human genome, uh, about a 20-year project. And this is about 500 million, as Robert says, to have people live as long as a sequoia tree. So, and and the, the, the balance is to make improvements. Um, so it's, we're looking at a total of under $2 billion plus SENS, which is a billion, uh, a little bit less because we've double uh, counted some of this stuff, and a maximum of about $5 billion. Now, let's put this in perspective. The government spends in this country, I shouldn't say the government, the health care expenses in this country, in this country alone, are $100 billion dollars every 16 days. Imagine that. We're not talking about 16 days or 16 months. We're talking about 16 years. We can take a tiny fraction of what they're spending every 16 days and spread it out over 16 years. Folks, we've got open-ended lifespans on our hands and we eliminate the vast majority of that $100, $100 billion is spent every 16 days. Long-term approach as opposed to short-term approach. Long-term thinking, long-termers as opposed to short-termers. The people in charge now, for the most part, are short-termers. We've, you know, we, we live and we, we die, and maybe that's, that's not, you know, there's, there's a good reason for that. At least a good reason for people to think that way, but this is a new way of thinking.